In this video, I'm briefly talking about RIP authentication. So I'm just using a very simple network that you've also probably maybe seen me use in other RIP videos. I just have two routers, CR1 and CR2, connected on the fast Ethernet links on a 10.0.12 network. And I'm going to advertise these loopbacks into RIP. I'm not really going to use this loopback, these loopbacks addresses. I just want to show a route in my routing table and the loopbacks is the easiest way to do that. So we're focusing on authentication. RIP version 1 and version 2. RIP version 1 does not support any authentication at all and RIP version 2 supports ME5 in plain text, where plain text is the default. So we can only use keychains, we cannot use direct password strings on these interfaces, I'm going to show you that a little bit later on. And that's basically all I wanted to say, let's get started on the configuration. So I have my underlay, I have my overlay, which is the terminal, and I also have my notepad. So I've already set up these IP addresses, so router 2 should be reachable from router 1. But the loopback obviously is not reachable because we're not using a routing protocol and the same over here. So let's get started on RIP. So I'm just going to do a plain configuration here. I'm not going to configure version 2. I'm just going to do version 1 to start and I want to advertise some networks. So I'm just using class for networks in here because that is what RIP converts it to anyway. So if RIP doesn't care, I don't either. So let's just put this in. If I do show IP route RIP, I should have the auto summary route, of course, because version one only supports auto summary of that look back in my routing table. If I ping 222, sourcing it from my own loop back, I should have full reachability. So that is all working just fine. So let's create some authentication rules. So let me say I want to go and interface fast Ethernet zero and I want to say IP rep authentication. And over here I have two modes. Let me clear the screen here. Uh, I have keychain and I have mode. So mode is MD5 or plain text. And you can see I do not have a key string option here, just key chain. So let's say I want to configure this one as text. And let me go down here and let me copy this for CR2. And let's say I want to change this one to MD5. So I know I made a mistake. I have mismatch authentication. So let me clear the routes on CR1, IP route, and do show IP route rip. I should have a new route. It has just been received in this update from CR2. So RIP version 1 just ignores any form of authentication. It doesn't really care. It just receives the routes anyway. So let's get uh, focusing on seeing this output. So let me scroll down here. And we can see our RIP basically sending an update to the broadcast address because that is what RIP version 1 does. So you can see this route is being sent by CR1 to CR2 and it's just being received just fine. And this one is also advertising its own route. And there we go again 30 seconds later. So there's no authentication in this packet at all. So let's get started on uh, RIP version 2. Let's change my router to version 2. Let's say I want to add version 2. Let's add a no auto summary in there as well. Let's put this in and over here, if I do clear IP route, if I do show IP route rip right now, I should have a classless route in here or the full route, not a summary in here from 10.0.12.1 and it's just been received. If I do ping 101 source loopback zero, I should have full reachability. So that's all working just fine. I'm ignoring the authentication again. Why am I ignoring the authentication? Because there's not anything configured in the form of authentication. There's only the mode. If I do show and run in a face fast Ethernet zero, I should have my authentication mode, but I've not added a keychain. Only when you add a keychain does the authentication start working. If I do show IP protocols, let me clear the screen here. I can see that there's not really any authentication here. There's no keychain on this interface, so the authentication does not work. So let's get started on that. Let's actually make these uh, updates not breach these routers so let's make our authentication actually work so before i do that let me go to my wireshark again and you can see why i'm sending a rip version 2 packet right now but there's no form of authentication in here as well so that goes for the one from uh, cr1 and it goes for the one from cr2 so let's get started on the keychain so let's say i want to add a keychain for cr1 and CR2, cr2 of course this one does need to match well the authentic authentication needs to match as well but I'm getting to that. So let's configure terminal, keychain rip, for example, key one, key string, Cisco. And let's say I'm gonna go into the interface, interface fast Ethernet zero. I wanna say IP rip authentication, authentication for keychain and then rip. So that's basically it. If I go on CR1 and put this in, now if I go back to my Wireshark and let me minimize my notepad, we should see if I'm getting a new update, let me force that to clear IP 
route. So let me go back to my Wireshark. And there we go. We can see that this one has been, has been authenticated with a simple password. And we can see the password clear as day in here. And if I go to the packet from CR2, you can see that this is authenticated with message digest. And we cannot actually read the key in here because the key is never transferred to the other, other side. Only the digest is. And we should have some mismatch authentication here. You can see that this is uh, now sent with a metric of 16. And if I do debug IP rip, let me bring up my terminal again do debug ip rip and let's clear the routes again i should generate some debug here and i should have a mismatch authentication met message if everything's fine so let me clear it again and you can see it's not even accepting the update from cr2 so it's not even uh, arriving in my uh, or there it is i spoke too soon so i uh contradicted myself there but we are ignoring the package from tensor 12 too because it has invalid authentication so do on all if i do show ip protocols again you can see that now finally i'm using a keychain so only when this is pre present in my show ip protocols i will actually start using authentication and of course we can make this match by going into the facet interface and just changing my ip rip authentication mode to md5 if i do show ip rip route rip now let me clear my routes i should have the route from cr2 and again i should be reachable from loopback zero so that's basically how authentication works uh, two modes both work with a keychain however only when you configure the keychain will it actually start working and make sure you're using version 2 so that's basically it thank you for your time